Hello everyone, this is Lee and welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to take a moment to talk to you about this trailer, this homemade work of art is really what it is. It's something that's carried me through so many different projects and something I think you could find useful as well. It's easy to store, it collapses, you could put it in your garage, you could build it to your own specifications. Uh, it's got a ton of options that you could add and it's inexpensive. Now, every time I take this thing out, everyone's always asking me questions about it. Where'd you get it? Did you build it? How much you pay for it? There's a lot of questions that I could answer in this video. And if I can't do it in this video, include it in the comments and I'll try to get them answered for you. And without further ado, here it is. All right, considering this trailer, go to harborfreight.com. You're gonna find two different versions of this trailer. Lower capacity one, which I do not recommend, and the higher capacity one, which goes up to 2,000 pounds. When you purchase this trailer, you have to build out the frame yourself. The trailer also comes with wheel covers, which I decided to take off because it gives you more options to carry stuff. Uh, the walls that I decided to build are about 36 inches high. The reason I built it that high is because I wanted anything that I carry to hover over the top of the pickup. If it's too long, I want it to hover over the front instead of having it overextend out the back because I don't want the risk of having anybody run into it. These ratchet straps that you see here and throughout the trailer are amazing and a must have because it's self-contained. I have about 20 straps in the back of that pickup that I don't use anymore because these are so easy to use. I'm gonna show you how it works. So you basically loosen it up here, tie up whatever you have here, lock it in place and then once you're done using it it goes back into place just like that this is six feet long i don't recommend this one i recommend the 10 foot long straps you can see how i bolted it down to the trailer and it swivels so that if i'm carrying something i could swivel it up tie it up and then it slips back in there and then if i'm taking out the walls I could just swivel this back out of, um, out of the way if you're looking to purchase these straps you could find them on Amazon I think they're a great addition to your trailer and definitely something useful I just finished loading at one of the local home stores you could see that I removed the walls and what I do is I stack the walls on top of the load so I could just put the walls back up once I'm finished and these retractable straps, I just throw them over and hold down the walls and everything along with it. I also have one of these straps in the back of my pickup. It's been so helpful and such a time saver to have it here. I basically bolted it down to the frame of the truck. And if I'm carrying something, let's say this is a two by four, I could simply hook it up here tie it down and it holds the board that's sticking out the bed of the truck. Another must have for this trailer are these latches. These latches are important because they hold the walls of the trailer down and keep it from flying off. And you could also purchase these on Amazon. Another needed option are these bolts. If you're building up the wall, I would recommend to install two bolts on the bottom, two bolts on the top and a single bolt in the center. These brackets already come included with the trailer uh, and you could build out the two by fours however high you want them and they slip right into these brackets. Uh, these brackets are a must-have. When you install them uh, these two walls overlap each other. I'm gonna show you how this works. So I'm gonna take this off once you lift it up you could see that this side interlocks with this side and this is how you should build it out all right also a must have on this trailer are these winch straps i bolted these down onto the bottom of the trailer so that they're not in the way of the walls if i take them down if you're interested in purchasing these, you can find them on Amazon. I think they're a great addition because it allows you the option to carry something that's a lot larger, such as a fridge, and allows you to strap it from the top to keep everything steady. 
All right, now I'm gonna show you what I have to do when I have to close up the trailer. You can see that there's wheels at the bottom of this trailer and I added that so that I don't, don't scratch the bottom of the floor because I have an epoxy on my garage. Um, so it's something that you don't need to add necessarily, but these wheels come included with every trailer that they sell. And what'll happen is, and I'll show you how this works, once I close up the trailer, this trailer will sit on top of these two tires and rest against the wall. All right, to remove this, it's pretty simple. You have a pin on this side, it comes out. You lift this up, remove the chains from both sides. Over here and over here. And you basically push it in the garage. All right, so now that I have the trailer in, I wanna to talk to you about how I protect the floor against scratches because I have epoxy on the floor of this garage. I install these rubber pads underneath this trailer so it doesn't damage or scratch up the floor. And I also have two pads over there, two large pads uh, that I use to close up the trailer so the floor doesn't get damaged because it will scratch up the floor. All right, to remove the walls, I simply remove the clasp from that side and the clasp from this side. And now the entire wall lifts up just like this. And I basically have a spot where I keep the walls of the trailer and I leave it there. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a moment to show you how I can close the trailer all by myself. So I'm gonna start by dragging the trailer and placing it on top of the rubber mats. And then I'm gonna remove the two pins located in front of the trailer. That will allow it to close. So I'm gonna remove this pin here and this one over here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the trailer. And you'll see that as soon as I stand it up, it will remain standing on its own. So I've got one side up, the front side, and now I'm going to pick up the back. And I'm going to use the built-in straps to hold the trailer together. And then I'm going to roll it and place it against the wall. You see those two metal straps that I have underneath the trailer? I actually use that to hold my spare tire. It can get a little bit heavy though. So I'll only put the spare tire underneath if I'm gonna go on a long trip. And there you go, I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it right here. All right, so now I'm going to measure the dimensions of the trailer so that you know how much space it takes up when it's put away. So I'm gonna measure from tire to tire and that is approximately five feet by approximately 24 inches wide. And it's approximately 72 inches in height. So that is how much space this thing takes up. All right, this is what the trailer looks like when it's closed up and pushed out of the way. I don't think it takes up a lot of space. If you're a real estate investor, if you own your own business, if you're a homeowner and you have to carry anything, this is a great investment. Anything under 2,000 pounds, this is the way to go. So if you like this video, make sure you click on the like button. If you have any additional comments, make sure you include in the comments below. And if you subscribe, subscribe to see more videos just like this one. So thank you and take care.